Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you today a story called The Chicken in the Library. And this story was taught to me by one of our dear colleagues, Natalie. Um, if you'd like to learn more oral stories or um, the, get the full kind of text or the words for the story, please check in the description box below. So here we go. One day, a chicken walked into the library. And that chicken walked right up to the librarian. And that chicken said, boop, boop, boop. Like a great reader. Let's go find some books. So that librarian helped the chicken to find some scaredy squirrel, to find some fly guy, and to find one book about whales. And the chicken checked out the books with her library card. She tucked them under her wing, and the chicken walked out the library doors. Well, it could not have been more than two minutes later when that chicken walked right in through the library doors. She returned those books. She went back up to the librarian's desk and she said, Oh, the librarian was blown away. This chicken was clearly an avid reader. So she said, hmm, what else could we find you? So they found an amazing Robert Munch collection. They looked up travel books on Australia. They got a Minecraft magazine. And then they got some Fancy Nancy. The chicken seemed fairly satisfied, so the chicken checked them out with their library card. She tucked him under her wings, and that chicken went right out through the library doors. It could not have been one minute later. The chicken came back in through the library doors, returned those books, and strutted right up to the librarian's desk and said, Wow, the librarian was positively flabbergasted. This chicken was the most voracious reader she'd ever encountered. That librarian rolled up her sleeves and she and the chicken dug deep, deep, deep into that catalog and they found the whole Lightning Thief series. They got a whole book on how to make friendship bracelets, a guide to being a good babysitter. And then they tried some Narnia. They got the whole Harry Potter series and they got, what else, a book about mermaids. The chicken checked the books out. She tucked them all under her wings and maybe she could put a couple in her beak. And that chicken went out the library doors. Well, this time the librarian said, I'm gonna keep my eye on that chicken. So she followed the chicken out the library doors. That chicken went down the street, the chicken went up the hill and down a hill and down to the riverbank. The librarian followed that chicken and peered between the reeds down at the riverbank. Did she see? Well, she saw that chicken holding up the first book of the Lightning Thief series. And she was holding that book up for a frog. And the chicken was holding that book right between her beak and her wings so the frog could see it. And the frog said, read it, read it, already read it. And the chicken sighed and tucked the book away. And so that is the story of the chicken in the library. And I love telling this story when we have school visits or daycare visits or kids coming in and it's a perfect one to pair with a program about how to use your library. So if kids have their own catalog station to look at materials, you could incorporate that into the story. Any books that you're sharing later on in the program, you could say that the chicken checked those books out. So it's a really nice way to A, talk about the procedures and how kids can use your library um, but also to really highlight parts of the collection. I love really drawing the nonfiction into that story as well, so kids are aware of the books that they can be taking home as well. It's an awesome story. It's a good puppet story. You could tell it a million different ways. You could have the kids help you tell it. So I hope you share that one at your life.